This morning's Health Watch, germs in your soda. According to a new study, researchers tested 30 soda fountains and they found that 70% of the beverages from them were contaminated with bacteria. Let's talk about that with Dr. Alana Levine. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Maggie. What kind of bacteria did these researchers find? 48% of the bacteria were actually fecal bacteria mm. and about 11% were E. coli. How are they getting into our drinks? Well, one way you can get in is if you're filling up the soda and you actually inadvertently touch so this is somebody, an employee, went to the bathroom, didn't wash their hands. Well, exactly. I don't want to think about where people's hands have been before right. they serve the soda. Mm. But another way actually has to do with the water line. You can get collections of bacteria in the water line, and that then runs through the whole machine and gets into the beverage. So how big of a deal is this? Can this really hurt our health? Because you always hear that some germs are actually good for you. Right. Well, we all have bacteria living in our bodies and our intestines normally. It really becomes more of a problem for people who have compromised immune systems. So people on chemotherapy, people with cancer, HIV, that sort of thing. So what do you suggest we do to protect ourselves well, now that we have this information? Right. Well, the first thing is obviously wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. Make sure that employee, employees of establishments wash their hands. And also, I think we need to start thinking about more regulations for cleaning out the soda machines and making sure the water lines are actually free of bacteria. Because you think that the water line is actually the bigger problem than the I think, touching this exactly. inadvertently. Exactly. I think it's really the main source because anytime any water or liquid sits somewhere, it's just a breeding ground for bacteria. Or maybe canned and bottled soda. That's another option. <laughs> right. Exactly. Dr. Elena Levine, thank you so much. It's a pleasure.